Hi, this is a short video about communication models for chapter one in our textbook, Mass Communication Culture and Mass Media. Okay, so when we talk about communication models, the model you see very frequently if you're in a communications class or something like that, is you'll see this mo model. This is a, 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 an illustration from your textbook. A source encodes a message and sends it over some sort of medium. Um, in our case, you might, a source might encode a message using English, sending the message through the airwaves to a receiver who decodes that message and has some response to it, some reaction. Um, in reality, this uh, model is somewhat limited because it only goes one way, when in reality, communication is really different. In reality, communication is about making shared meaning. Thus, we are each encoders and decoders or interpreters, as you might say. So if I, in the old model, um, encode a message, send it over the airway to you, the receiver, and you have a reaction, you're not having that reaction in a vacuum, you're having a reaction, and then likewise, I become the receiver to get that reaction. So if you frown at me, you're sending a message back to me. If you say, hey, I don't like what you just said, or I love what you just said, you're giving me a message now. So it's a feedback loop, it's constantly going. So that's interpersonal communication, when you're either face-to-face -face with the person or somewhere where you can see each other. When we're talking about mass communication models, the, the process is really different. And we're talking about um, a traditional uh, mass communication model here. We'll talk later in uh, the semester about how convergence in the internet has really changed this model, but when we're talking about a traditional model of mass communication, now your um, interpreter, or in the old language, your encoder, sends out multiple copies of the message. So if you're a newspaper, you're not just putting out one newspaper, you're putting out you know, hundreds of thousands. If you're a TV show, you may be beaming your television show into a million homes. So it's multiple identical messages, and the mass audience uh, receives it and has some sort of delayed, uh, well, they have an immediate reaction, but the, the reaction back to you, the feedback, is inferential and delayed. So for example, using the TV model again, if I um, produce a TV show and I send it out to all these homes, I don't know how people have responded to that because I'm not sitting in their homes with them seeing them either enjoy the show or throw their popcorn at it. So I have to um, infer from certain feedback models. So uh, for example, the Nielsen ratings. If I find out that a lot of people did not watch my show that night or you know, and tuned in, um, didn't watch it. It may be, I have to kind of make inferences and it may be that they hate my show and they never want to see it again, or it may be that there was something else on TV that night that they really loved even more. So it's an inference. I don't know for sure how they're feeling. The response is also delayed because if they write me a snail mail response and say, hey, I really like your show, I won't get that for a while, or the Nielsen ratings may not come out um, you know, that night in that moment. Of course, now this is an old model because we obviously have Twitter and other things, social media things now that impact this. But again, I said, this is the traditional mass communications model. Also in the traditional mass communications model under organization, you know, the encoder or the interpreter A, it's not just one person. We're not talking about the internet. We're not talking about you being a YouTuber and having an audience of hundreds of thousands. We're talking about, say, CBS or the New York Times. So we're talking about a hierarchical um, you know, organization that has many, many people in it. So these things are have really changed ever since the internet, and we will see more about that later. Okay, you can go on to the next video.